Hey guys, Brita here. Welcome back to Firefighting Simulator, the squad. Here we are for another episode. Where I think what I want to do is look at um, doing the industrial maze ablaze. This sounds um, interesting. If we go start, I can look at um, T-Rex. And I can change it to um, multiplayer. But I don't know if people can find my game just by me clicking multiplayer. That's one thing I'm not sure of. Uh, let me have a quick look. See, I don't think I've got any of you guys online, no, playing at the moment, so... Doesn't help. But I'm not sure... If people can join when it's like this, or do... I have to invite people? I'm not quite sure how the multiplayer side of things works. It would be, um, would be nice to know. But let's just go, let's just go start, I guess. Instead of sitting here for the next 10 minutes waiting for someone to join, we'll just get in and get it done ourselves and see what happens. I have been um, playing off camera, just mucking around, helping out a few other guys, you know, jumping in their, in their games and you know, doing the best I can for them to get fast mission time and fast driving time and that sort of stuff. So it's been a lot of fun, actually. Um, listen for victims. I'll sometimes call out for help. Utilising your AI squad makes... mates. So let's head to the emergency call, just under three kilometres away. I haven't um, used this truck before, so not sure how it's going to go, but got the um, big ladder on the front, so that should help us quite a bit if we need it. Need to change our view. Hey, calm your farm. Get back on your own side. Oh, close. Okay, so there may be victims inside, so we pretty much just need to go straight in and get all the victims. You can see the flames straight ahead here. So, um, yeah, it looks like it's well, well alight. I don't know if the amount of smoke changes from uh, mission to mission, but I wouldn't think so. Alright, still a little bit of frame rate drop. Just here on the right, but we have to go a long way around. Like, we've got to figure this cut through the park here, but we'll turn Dispatch right here somewhere. As as okay, could be three victims inside. I right, need to come up here and turn right and right again. Right, need to slow down quite a bit. I don't know how this thing's going to turn. I don't like the third person view of the chase cam in these vehicles. It's really not um, not something I enjoy. But there he is. Luckily we didn't keep following him. Unit 1 to dispatch. Unit 1 approaching scene. Dispatch to Unit 1. We could have a fire spreading situation due to cardboard boxes in the warehouse. All right. Where do we need to park? Not there. Looks like there might be some oil, or is that water outside? Gonna try and get in the right spot, there we go. Come in! We've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a fuse box we to find a fuse box as soon as we can. The guy's gonna head in and do a 360. Like grabbing a few screenshots here. So that back door we need to try not to go in through there. Those cars could be an issue. The loading area is clear of so the loading area is just off to our right, just there. Yes, sir. Supply lines ready to go, boss. All right. So what we might check. need to do? We open this straight away. All right. We might need to. Okay, boss. Check the supply line is ready to go, boss. All right. We can't get there, boss. Come into yes, here. Where's the electricity and stuff? Yes, sir. Go and get that person. Another person here. I'm on. I'm on. Right, so looks like they're loading. I said there should be three people. Um, let me, can I pick that up? There we go. Pick that up. 
we'll carry that with us just in case. Or it could be the electricity, or is that? Oh, that could just be light switches. Um, no, we don't offer some windows yet. We don't want to open those up. Right, so there should be another victim somewhere. Oh, spreading quite fast. Oh, there might be another victim through here. Right, so number two. Get us a supply line. It's number three. Okay, so number three. Alright, Steve. I'll break it open. Get a breach tool. There we go. Yes, Commander. Alright, you can come like over here. I've got your back, boss. So I wonder where all the sparks are coming from. Let's try and help a little bit while that guy's breaking that door open. Hey! Right, over here. Over here, mate. Alright, Steve. I'll break it open. Get back down. Alright. Uh, um, I can't get there, boss. Follow me, number three. Yes, Go and get another supply line. Can we push that out of the way? I don't think we can. Let's close the door though. Um, right, let's go, go, go. Is that there? No, oh, it's power, but not the power we need. Come on, buddy, let's go. Hurry up, I've got all day. Thank you. Alright, so we need to quench all the fires. Did someone put out the electricity though? I think they might have. Let's go for a quick run around and have a look. We don't want to touch that door, that door can stay shut. Um, I don't know where the power was. I really don't know where the power was. Where is that guy? Running around somewhere. Oh, you can come in like over here. Now I'll go out and get a, another attack line. So that supply line's set up on this thing, so we can just use this one. It'll be a lot quicker. Alright, connect our attack line. Grab our nozzle. Head on in. I don't think there's anything coming through the roof. I think I might. I was gonna say I could go around the back and try and smash a window. But that'll just give it um more oxygen, I think. Probably should try not to do that, but I would like to get over into here and try and I don't know if that's it doesn't look like there's any oil fires or anything. Quite a fire though, isn't it? So, yeah, I don't know, maybe we should work this side back over, try and work together. So I know a lot of you guys have said just hold, hold the, you know, this in the one spot, but what the developers have said, um, and Northern Alex has said as well, that it doesn't hurt to move slowly like this. Because you'll start to quench this one and then you can move over it and start to quench all of them, but it's um, quite crazy. We need to get this out because this is just spreading everywhere at the moment. It's quite difficult without the um, the quench indicators. There we go. So I don't know if we should start at the bottom or start at the top. Obviously fire goes up, so maybe if you start at the bottom and then work your way up, probably would be better. Right, we're slowly getting on top of it. Keep spreading over this way. I 
I can't really can't really go anywhere else. I hate to see this forklift go up. I don't think I don't think I can get into there. So you keep spread this way, so we need to try and stop it from spreading. Number one, that you come over here and help as well. Just keep spread from the outside in, which is fair enough. Like it's gonna be quite hard to contain. I need to actually attack it from this side while they attack it from the other side. But this is well alive. Target along the bottom. There we go, we just need to get this. This is where it keeps spread. Get all this bit put out. I've just got that bit sorted. Just hope none of this shelving collapses down on us, otherwise, we'll be in a world of hurt. It's all fallen over, which doesn't help. We're slowly, oh, so we're slowly getting the upper hand, but get burnt again. this bit over here that I want to really target because this is going to continue to spread out towards that forklift and around the side if we don't get onto it. Last mission time expired, that's fair enough. It's um, quite challenging this one. Pretty sure this would be somewhere I would stand in real life but get in here now to get it put out. There's the other guy going. Number two. Come in here somewhere. I can get over here now, so maybe you can come over yes, here and help as well. So I figured if I smash these windows out. I don't know if we could actually do that though. So if we just spray them with enough water, it eventually smashes the windows, but these guys are probably a lot stronger, these windows. Well, we're just about out, I think. We're in the last little bit. Seems to be spreading again. Can we reach it through there? We can, I think. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Uh, not the most impressive time, but not too bad either, I suppose. Got it done. Massive industrial fire. Alright, I'm spraying our hose again. Yay! That was quite inter interesting, that one. That guy was still actually, like in the toilet but he could have probably got himself out or was the door locked the door wouldn't have been locked from this side you wouldn't think so I don't know um, inflaming of a dumpster is it the one we've got unlocked rescue three victims which is good the venting smoke from a building increases visibility which is good um, hot downtown renovation uh, was that the one we just did yeah okay I like the industrial ones Inflaming of a dumpster. We've got ladder and elevation, which is two there, but there's this other little one down here. Let's go and do this one. Um, and see how we go. 
Uh, walk and rescue, yep, and we'll start. So it'd be good to do like a a big, good, like decent sized job for our first part of the episode, then our second one do like a smaller, quicker job. If we can make it quick, that is. Okay, so a good firefighter knows how, an educated firefighter knows why. I think I'm neither of those. Right, so let's go. So ooh, five kilometers away, wow. This is going to be a decent drive. going to take us probably five minutes or so to get there, depending on how fast we can go and how the traffic's going to be. Plenty of people around, so we'll give two. There's a bit of a, a school and a field on the right there. Interesting if the um, soccer field went up or something like that. No, I didn't aim at the cars, sorry. Too quick for the corner to be honest. Not like that. So keep heading down. Industrial side on the right. If that thing went up, that would be crazy. Right, so onto the main highway. Eastern highway, and we can head downtown. Good food place. Car oh, I can imagine that that car dealership went up and half of those cars are on fire. That would be crazy. I hope every single one of these locations eventually will have a mission. It would be interesting, like the car dealership being on fire, having a petrol station on fire. Um, like the school, the sports field, maybe a car burning on the sports field or something like that. I don't know, that would be pretty interesting. It's weird how the camera keeps up, keeps changing. I'd rather have it like this and just leave it like that and have it follow the truck. It doesn't follow it very well. Some more frame rate loss. 30 mile an hour speed limit and we're going way faster than that. What do we have over here? Just park. Heaps of cars around. Very busy area. I know. Time to get out of the way. Oh, people, we're in a hurry. Still two kilometres out yet. I'm right, heading downtown. Song about that. I won't sing it though, because my singing is terrible. Rolled into that corner. See another petrol station that could go up would be awesome. This building side on the right, you know, that would be great if that went up as well. Having a lot of the plastic and stuff burning. Tell him to get out of the way. Oh, geez, there's another one. I guess I'm lucky I don't have this XP for damage in it because I'm hitting bloody everything at the moment. So a kilometre out. Good to have a high-rise fire too. Like right at the top, we have to actually go in and climb up the stairs. And so there's a big stadium over there. Right, there's the fire. You can see it just straight ahead. Stay. Oh, this is really busy. You can see the smoke. Wow. Oh, people, get out of the way. It's good to see him. Oh, I thought we'd just about hit him then. It's good to see him moving out, moving out of the way. So should be up around the front of this building. Ooh. She's a lot, well a lot. Oops, I'm going way too far. But we're, to get in. we're inside the box. Close enough, aren't we? Sparks. 
find a fuse box and cut the power. Copy that. I'll do a 360 check. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. Can't tell what sort of fire it is, whether it's a, you know, obviously electrical fire, they said, but it's being relit by electrical sparks, so we can get that turned off, it'll be alright. But is there other chemicals and stuff inside? This looks like a construction site, but the fuse box out the front is sparking things. The firefighters come running out of there. Okay, boss. 360 check complete. Alright, well someone get the supply line ready. Number one. Um, how do we do the supply line? Oh, well, can you... Pry tool, axe... How do we get this thing down? Open compartment, what's in here? Nothing. Axe. Extinguisher. Pry tool. Circular saw. Nothing in there. Where's all the attack lines and stuff? Do we not have any? Alright, well, everybody. Yes, get an extinguisher. Yes, I'm on. Yes, Give me one too. I got your back. Now this is how I don't know how we get them to put it out. Alright, where's the um... Need them to... Why would that be sparking though? That's what I don't get. It's like a food cart thing. Can you guys like do something with those extinguishers? Here I am half dying over here. Oh there it is. I was trying to work my way into it. Now can you quench the fires? Like two. Yes, sir. two. Go there. These aren't doing anything. Oh Jesus. I've got you back, boss. Yes, sir. How the hell are we meant to get equip a line for this? There's gotta be a way. You can't even get inside. Pry tool. Pry tool. Axe. How do we get this thing down? To get in the back there. This is one that I'm kind of lost with. I figured we would have had someone here with an attack line or something. I don't know if we're ever going to put this thing out. Not by myself, anyway. Just work our way through, I guess. Do the best I can. No, it's burning. I don't care, you just need to deal with it. Okay. And you, you guys should really be helping. Uh, unbelievable. It's a one man show. What have you got? Yours empty? empty. God damn it. Give me that. Go and get another one. Yes. Would ya? I'll Give me that. Back, boss. You haven't really got me back because you're not bloody doing anything. Where's the bloody commander when we need him? Turn up and say, what are you guys doing? Get her in. Get in there and help that young man. Oh, should we get it put out pretty quick now? There we go. Why? Don't you guys help? Damn it! Why 
Why was I lazy? I'm going to leave this behind. Unbelievable. Well, at least we know that I did it all by myself. Nobody else even helped. Driving time was slow. Mission time was slow. That's because no one bloody helped me. Challenge bonus was alright. We walked 352 metres. And about the same time each mission. So, yeah. Radio guys. Um, what we'll do is we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. If you guys know how to get them to actually use those bloody fire extinguishers, let me know as well. That would be very handy. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.